throughout the course, we've been seeing situations in which we can add together the same kind of things. We started with the very simplest sort of situation. If we're counting cookies, we can add two cookies plus three cookies and get five cookies. Then we encountered a slightly more complicated situation where we said that in fact the things we're adding together might be fractions, but as long as they're the same kind of fractions, we can just add together how many. And that's why when we add fractions, they have to have the same denominator, and we just add together the numerators. Even later, we talked about scientific notation, and we said that 2 times 10 to the fifth plus 3 times 10 to the fifth Add together the significands, we have 5 times 10 to the fifth. And when we saw it in scientific notation, we started to justify why two copies of whatever I happen to be thinking of plus three copies of that same thing will always give me five copies of that same thing. Why is that? Well, that's just the distributive property. Instead of multiplying and then adding, I can add together my 2 plus 3 first, and then multiply. It turns out that that same thing works for variables. If I have two copies of x, and three copies of x, well, that's just two plus three copies of x. That is five copies of x. This process is called combining like terms. And it turns out that all of these things that we did before were just special cases of this idea. OK. So how do we do this? Well, first we make sure that we really do have like terms. And then, once we identify that we do have like terms, we add the coefficients and leave the variable part alone. So let's see some examples. 5y squared plus negative 3y squared is 2y squared. Add the coefficients 5 plus negative 3. Leave the variable part alone. 7 eighths x plus 11 twelfths x is, well, I'm going to add the coefficients and I'm going to leave the variable part alone. This addition is a little harder. I might want to use my calculator. I have 7 eighths plus 11 twelfths, and let's make that a fraction, 43 twenty-fourth. Remember, 43 twenty-fourths, perfectly good number, makes a perfectly good coefficient. All right, what if we don't have like terms? Well, we just leave it. In a lot of ways, that's a lot easier than what we did with the fractions or the scientific notation. There's nothing we can do to x or to y to get those to be like terms. So we just leave it. Now, what if you have a wide variety of terms in a number? In this example, we have three different kinds of terms. Right? We have these x terms, we have some y terms, and we have some constant terms with no variable part. What should we do? Well, the first thing we should do so that we can see the terms clearly is rewrite all the subtraction as adding the opposite. Again, we wanted to do that so that we could see the terms clearly and also because now we're going to use the commutative property of addition. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to put the 4x plus 
negative 3x next to each other. And then the negative 6y plus 9 halves y next to each other plus 2 plus 3 halves next to each other. Now, as you get more accustomed to this, you may find that you don't need to write out those two steps. You may find that you just see the negative sign as part of the term. And you may find that you associate the like terms without writing them next to each other. And that's okay. You may find, however, that for more complicated expressions, you still want to write out step one or step two. And that's okay, too. It's more important that you get the right answer than that you skip writing down details that you're allowed to skip writing down. Okay, now we combine like terms. So what do we get? Uh, 4 plus negative 3 is 1. Negative 6 plus 9 halves. I'm going to use my calculator for that again. Negative 6 plus 9 halves. Let's make that a fraction. We get negative 3 halves y. And then 2 plus 3 halves. Let's make that a fraction as well. So 7 halves. Hmm. OK. OK. There's one last step. We'll rewrite this using subtraction. And we'll drop this coefficient 1, because it's not doing any work for us. All right. Notice, what happens when we multiply by 1? Absolutely nothing. That means if you don't see something being multiplied by a number, it's being multiplied by 1. So that's all there is to combining like terms. Write the like terms next to each other. Add the coefficients. Keep the variables the same.